Hello everyone and welcome to another hair dyeing video. Yes, that is right. We're going to dye our hair again in the beginning of this year i said that i was gonna try and do every single hair color that there is and i feel like we've done a good job we've tried so many different hair colors and so many different hair color combos and techniques something that i've never done before today is another one of those something that i've like never really seen people do but i've seen people wear it as a wig <laughs> <laughs> and I want to try it out for myself like for real for real this video is also in collaboration with arctic fox You guys know that I love arctic fox and I'm so happy to be teaming up with them this year So together with arctic fox. I'm today going to dye my hair like Dracolora from monster high <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen monster high, you know, I've seen it on tiktok. <laughs> oh how I wished that those dolls were a thing when I was younger but I'm also kind of terrified about this hair color combo so what we're gonna do if you did not know Draculaura has a black and pink combo in our hair and the color combo that I've seen mostly sometimes she just has like a split color but the hardest one <laughs> that I'm gonna attempt is the color blocking black pink black pink all over her hair also in her bangs she has like a kind of a short bang like i do as well and for the colors we have transylvania and virgin pink from arctic fox if you did not know arctic fox is a 100 percent vegan and cruelty free brand that i have been loving for my whole life i feel like and the virgin pink is one of my absolute 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 favorite pinks and i've tried a lot of pinks also just their formula and their bottles are just some of my absolute favorites love them so so much so i'm so happy that they are teaming up with me on this one but now let's just go ahead and uh, become a vampire i guess as you guys can see, my hair is like almost blonde already and that is because I did a color remover that removed so so much like I'm shocked. It is still like a little bit peachy and the uh, black that I had is now like a grayish blue. It's actually really pretty. Let's see, I have two opened virgin pink so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one that doesn't have a lot in it. Oh my god. Okay, let's see if we can scoop up some of this or just make it worse. Yep, that's not going away. Let's try and do that again. And there we have Transylvania. Some gloves to protect my hands and my nail. <laughs> so now comes the hard part and that is the sectioning. Like, how am I gonna section my hair? To look the absolute best i think we're gonna do pink in the front and then do the black pieces here here and here if that makes sense i do want quite a big piece of pink in the uh front here and as you guys can see i don't really have a lot of hair so i think we'll just have to like take a little bit more like my front hair is just so not full <laughs> and uh, nice looking. Yeah, that could be one piece, one piece. <laughs> and I'm gonna go in with one of these clear elastics. This is gonna be really annoying to get out, I think, but I will just like cut them off. Then this one is also going to be pink. I think I'm gonna make it easier for myself and just do the bangs completely pink and then afterwards we can just add the black if we want to. Although I never do what I say in the beginning so I might just go in with black there, <laughs> who knows. Okay, this one will be black, another one here. This one, yeah, that looks good. All right, so the sectioning is now done. The back pieces uh these two will probably be a little bit bigger i mean this is quite small here in the back but as i said i do want more pink than black so i think we're gonna start off like this if it looks really you know patchy or something i could just add the black i feel like i'm just gonna start off by doing this section 
The back is not going to be perfect and I don't plan on it either, so... <laughs> Okay, something like that. I'm gonna see if I can do the top here without getting it everywhere. Oops, oh well, all the way to the tip there. For the back, I always feel like it's just easier to work with my hands because then I can actually feel what I'm doing. So there we have it. So this whole section is going to be pink. As you guys can see, I have like a, just a smudge of red in there that I've completely missed with my color remover. Uh, then we have like the peachy, then we have the blonde, then we have the blue. Uh, and then we also have a little bit of root action going on, but I don't think that this is going to be a problem. I know how virgin pink works. I've used it in so many of my videos. It's one of my absolute favorite pinks, if not the favorite pink ever. Let's see, should we start here maybe? I'm gonna try and get it as close to the black without blending them together. Can you see how pretty that pink is? It's such a cool toned, like neon Barbie pink. Okay, so there we have the pink ready. And then do the exact same thing. If you're wondering like how much you can get out of one bottle, like I kind of don't know. At least like for my, if I would do, I don't really, because I usually don't dye my hair just one color, but I would say that one bottle, bottle would for sure would work for the length of my hair. Maybe not if you have really, really thick hair. Creep school. What's going on in such a creepy place? Do you guys remember that? <laughs> I didn't watch Monster High growing up. I'm too old for it. But there was a show called Creep School. I don't know if you guys know of it. I don't even know if it's like only Swedish maybe. But it was so good. It was about four kids going to a private school. And I think that they were like mixed up with some monster children and they were sent to a creep school <laughs> like a monster school and yeah it was really good <laughs> next black sectioning we have these two with some transylvania again oh my god are you hearing tivo is dreaming oh no he stopped just gonna hold my hair up while I do the sectioning here. And I'm gonna try and remember to not put it down because then it's going to get everywhere. I wonder if we should do like some type of blue. Oh no. Oh well. I wonder if we should do some sort of blue next because I feel like that would be a good color to transition to from this black color. Do you guys have any cool ideas? Because I do want to at least get two more hair dyeing videos and hair dyes in before the end of the year. Oh no. Okay, now comes the part where we have to decide what we're gonna do with the bangs. <laughs> and I feel like I obviously have to do the black in the bangs as well, right? <laughs> Who am I kidding? How can I miss a chance like that, right? So let's just go in with the virgin pink here, all over, all over here, and here, and here, and here. Two black pieces here, right? Would be cool. Here we should be pink. And then it would be smart to have this pink as well. And this pink. I'm just gonna mark out so I can see kinda. Get that out of the way. <sighs> okay, now for the black pieces. Okay, what do you guys think? Comment down below right now. Do you think this was a mistake to do the bangs like this? Or was it a really good choice? Let me know what you think and then in a few seconds you guys will see the result and you can tell for yourself. Now when I do not want them to uh, rinse together or bleed together, meaning that I don't want the pink to become black while I rinse this out, I'm going to rinse it with cold, cold water. I will get back to you and I will show you guys the final result. 
You guys, this is such a vibe. <laughs> okay, are we ready? How spooky do I look? This turned out so much better than I ever thought it was gonna be. I feel like I say that in every single video, but I just like, I'm just so proud of myself and what I can accomplish when I try to. <laughs> the pink and the black just looks amazing together. I absolutely love that I did the bangs. It, it just makes the whole look come together. I do saw in the back that I have missed a couple of spots. I have like a square of blonde in the back. <laughs> so excuse that if you can see it. But how does the back look? I haven't seen it. So this is how it looks from the back. And this is how it looks from uh, the side. Also, I think I missed like a spot right here, as you guys can see. But you know what? I will just fix that next time. I'm honestly so, so happy with it. Also, I was kind of scared that I was gonna look like I'm 15 again because the pink and the black, you know, that's the only two colors that I wore when I was like 15. But I don't get that vibe, like I get very like grown up, but you know, cute. <laughs> so yeah, that is it for me. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and enjoyed the hair. I love it so much. If you are interested in anything from Arctic Fox, not only do they have amazing hair dyes, but they also have gloves as you guys saw me wearing. They have the bowls, they have uh, nail stuff also that I've shown a lot on my Instagram. So if you would like to like, go ahead and check that out, I will have them linked down below. And you can also get 15% off with my code ELENAAF. That is it, you guys. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed. And hopefully we will see each other in the next video. Bye, guys.